In today's world, one of the most underrated and undervalued traits of a leader is self-awareness. Now, self-awareness is about understanding who you are and recognizing those traits and those habits, how you communicate, how you think, and aligning them with a standard that not only benefits you, but the people you interact with on a regular basis. As a leader, this is critical because your goal is to serve and help people to be the very best that they were meant to be. And if you don't understand who you are as a person and have a strong standard of moral excellence, you will not succeed in that objective. Self-awareness, I believe, is undervalued and underrated by leaders is because their value system is not strong. When you are practicing private self-awareness, and that's when you are alone and thinking about your communication, your ideals, your standard, that's the most important time to really focus on those things that makes you the best that you can be. When you are in the public and you are leading your team, you're communicating with them, you are encouraging them to, to rise high, to live according to the best standard of excellence, you have to have the type of self-awareness that recognizes how your words and your interactions will help them to achieve that standard. This is why I think it's underrated in today's society, because a lot of times leaders don't reflect on who they are. In their private time, sometimes they don't think about what they say and do. One of the habits that I have at the end of every day after I have served people, empowered people, or even sometimes failed people, I reflect on my standard. Not just the failures, right? Because the failures are gaps in experience, especially when you are really trying to help people improve. You know, failure is a learning process. But I reflect on my standard and say, why did I miss the mark? This brings me to another point. In order to answer that question, you have to solicit feedback. You can't just think about it on your own. Now, one of the things that I think is so sad in today's workforce is that some leaders, I believe, they're not really interested in feedback. They want praise to validate their ego. Norman Vincent Peale, he put it this way. The trouble with most of us is that we would rather be ruined by praise than save by criticism. I don't get it why some leaders after a meeting, in some instances, they would solicit feedback from their team at that moment, but later to not even implement their feedback they receive. Their self-awareness is low. They don't even realize that they're expressing a disinterest in helping the people around them to be better by rejecting the feedback they receive from their team. That's why you solicit Criticism. And I get it. There are some people, they don't understand how to constructively deliver criticism. There is a wrong way to be right. But the reality of it is when you are trying to be the best you can be as a leader, you sift through how it's communicated and you find the value in what was delivered. But today you are going to take the first step. Don't be self-critical. Don't be negative. If you've fallen short, today is a day of recalibration. When you look into that mirror of your mental picture today, remind yourself of the standard of excellence that you are trying to accomplish, that you are trying to reach, not the failure that you had today. I'm Stephen Garner. Thank you for watching. I hope I added value to your journey. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment below. And until next time, take your cue from me and live a great life. Next cue.